Hello everyone, I am Shai Mitro and you are watching WCS Expo. It is highly recommended that current affairs is very essential for competitive exam. So here we discuss today's most important current affairs. So you subscribe the channel to get daily updated current affairs. Today's important current affairs are National Solidarity Day 20 October. India observes National Solidarity Day on 20 October every year. This day is observed to honor the armed forces. On this day in 1962, China had attacked India and the war went on till 21 November 1962. In 1966, a committee constituting PM Indira Gandhi decided to dedicate 20 October as a National Solidarity Day. Next, World Osteoporosis Day 20 October. World Osteoporosis Day is observed in every year on 20 October. The day tries to create awareness about the causes, prevention and treatment for this condition. Osteoporosis is a condition where the density of the bone goes below the level that is expected for a particular age and gender in comparison to the population at large. Next, 4G cell network on the moon. Nokia has announced its expansion into a new market, winning a deal to install the first cellular network on the moon. It was selected by NASA to deploy an ultra-compact space-hardened wireless 4G network on the lunar surface. The $14.1 million contract awarded to Nokia's US subsidiary is part of NASA's Artemis program which aims to send the first woman and next man to the moon by 2024. Next, Hing cultivation starts in India for first time. Hing cultivation has started in India for the first time. First plantation of Hing was done in Lahul and Spiti in Himachal Pradesh. Hing asafoetida is one of the widely used species in Indian cuisine. There is no production of hing in India and currently about 1200 tons of raw hing worth rupees 600 crore is being imported annually from Afghanistan, Iran and Uzbekistan. Next, India's agriculture exports rise by 14.8%. India's agricultural exports have recovered from a pandemic-induced decline. Export for major farm products stood at Rs 50,000 crore in a five-month period between April and August 2020-21, a rise of 14.8% compared to the corresponding period in 2019. Exports of Bashmati rice during April and August rose 8.2% from the year ago period while the value of non basmati rice export grew 91.3%. Next, Government of India ADB Inc's $177 million loan pact. Asian Development Bank and Government of India have signed a $177 million loan. It will be used to upgrade 450 kilometers of state highways and major district roads in Maharashtra. The project will improve connectivity between rural areas and urban centers in the state enabling rural communities to better access markets, employment, opportunities and services. Next, Madhya Pradesh fine of rupees 500 for speeding. In Madhya Pradesh, a fine of 500 rupees will be imposed now on the people who speed on the railway premises. West Central Railway has taken this step to prevent corona infection. It has been started from the Bhupal division. Automated machines have also been installed to measure the temperature at all major railway stations, including Bhupal, for identification of corona infected passengers. Next, Asan Reserve in Ramsar Sites List. Asan Conservation Reserve has become the first wetland from Uttarakhand to be included in the prestigious Ramsar Site List. Besides Asan, Kavartal wetland from Bihar was the second new site to get included in this list. These fresh inclusions have brought India's total number of Ramsar sites to 39. Till February 2020, only 37 sites from India were in the Ramsar site list. Next, Sheikh Russell I International Air Rifle Championship. World number one Indian Elavinil Valarivan 
won a gold medal and Shahu Tushuar Mane bagged silver in the Sheikh Russell International Air Rifle Championship held virtually on 20 October. The championship was organized by Bangladesh Shooting Sport Federation BSSF. In the 60 short competition in which shooters from six nations participated, including host Bangladesh. Next, World Statistics Day, 20 October. The third World Statistics Day is being celebrated around the globe on 20 October 2020. The theme for the year 2020 is connecting the world with data we can trust. The celebrations are organized under the guidance of the United Nations Statistical Commission. Next, Ayushman Shahakar scheme launched. Union Agriculture Minister Narendra Singh Tomar launched Ayushman Shahakar scheme on 19 October 2020. Ayushman Shahakar scheme has been formulated by the National Cooperative Development Corporation (NCDC). The scheme aims at bringing transformation in the health services primarily in the rural areas. Next, Intelligent Traffic Management System in Kochi The first ever Intelligent Traffic Management System ITMS, has come up at Kochi from 19 October 2020. CM Pinarari Vijayan inaugurated the project which will integrate the traffic movement in the city. The ITMS implemented by the Cochin Smart Mission Limited in association with Keltron consists of two major modules. Next, Global Hunger Index 2020 released. India ranked 94 among 107 nations in the Global Hunger Index 2020 and continues to be in the serious hungry category. In 2019, India's rank was 102 out of 117 countries. The Global Hunger Index data showed that 40% of India's population was undernourished. Besides, the country recorded a 37.4% stunning rate among children under 5 and a wasting rate of 17.3%. Next, Health Training Institute in Kochi. Kerala CM Pinari Vijayan has inaugurated the Occupational Safety and Health Training Institute OTI in Kochi. It will be able to ensure the safety of workers and people living around industrial areas like. The initiative will help create a risk-free and occupational disease-free society. This is the first instance of an OTI being set up under the state government in India. So these are the most important current affairs of the day. I hope it helps you a lot. Please like this video, share your love, comment on this video. And please, please subscribe the channel.